Let's get down to the to the nitty gritty. Bloomberg have done this survey. The survey suggests economists believe there's going to be a reduction to 30 billion for nine months. Is that in tune with your thinking? Yes, indeed. I think uh, ECB's communication has been uh, remarkably clear and consistent uh, uh, for this uh, future extension of QE. Uh, it doesn't mean that there won't be any surprise, by the way. There could be uh, some technical details that could uh, be uh, unveiled in December, by the way, in terms of uh, uh, the modalities of uh, QE composition, reinvestment policy, that could all help to perhaps surprise the market. But the bulk of the decision that we expect this week should indeed be consistent with a slower for longer QE extension. Even the Oaks at the ECB uh, seem to agree uh, on that kind of extension. Whether it's 25, 30 billion, maybe even slightly more, 35, uh, that uh, could make uh, only a slight uh, difference in terms of macro implication, I believe. Do they give an end date, Frederick? I mean, how important is stipulating an end date? I mean, the survey suggests it comes to an end in, in September, and, and thereby, if necessary, they can extend it further. But is it wise at this juncture, given where inflation is, giving an end date? I think it's way too risky, to be honest. It's not in the ECB's DNA, or at least it's in Mr. Draghi's DNA, uh, to take such risk at this particular juncture, as you said. Uh, inflation, uh, let's repeat that uh, very clearly. Core inflation, the measure the ECB is looking at, in my opinion, uh, more closely is uh, just above 1%. It's too far away from the 2% target. It's too risky also in terms of financial conditions. If you uh, indeed call an end date to the program and commit to an end of the program now with the euro where it is. In trade weighted terms, the euro is exactly at the level that the ECB staff were uh, expecting in September. But any further appreciation would put the inflation uh, outlook at risk. So I think it would be a mistake and a mistake that the ECB uh, will not make.